That's how I feel about the entire situation. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. This for so Chris. Okay. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen that? I'm okay. sorry. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. As this, have you ever seen that meme where it's like, uh, it's it's like a it's a possum with its mouths open. It's like for personal reasons, I'm going to. Ah! It's just uh, a yeah, series of like that. a. That's a, that's. Uh -huh. It's such a fucking. That's how I feel. Movie. Yes. All right. So go ahead. What were you gonna say? Um. So you saw my follow up video on Sly, right? Uh, of course. Of well, course. Apparently, he heard about it. And I, I sent you the No, it is a surprise. I sent you oh, the yeah. Yeah. He's trying to accuse us of tricking him and, like, forcing him to confess to something he didn't do. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so, 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 what you're saying is seven years worth of proof uh, uh, amounts to uh, tricking somebody. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I love it. I love it. And his multiple confessions. Yep. Oh yeah. Not I even. Not. A... Let's not even count. Let's not even count the Twitter one. Let's. I unfortunately I did not. I'm. I'm pretty sure there are screenshots of that somewhere. I he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> well. I have Without screenshots. Even. Yeah. Um. That was like... wasn't even me, but I. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I just, I felt like we should talk about how specifically we, we approached this when he confessed. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, for um, sure. Um. So do you remember how we did that? You mind walking the people okay. through? Okay, is this, uh, are we talking about the, the this is the second audio, right? The no, one with the, the first audio, the original the confession. First, uh, Oh boy, howdy. Okay, so um, initially, when when I had a, I had approached. So okay, so after the whole thing with Nick's went down, um, I or rather we all decided as a group that we needed to talk to Sly, and uh, so we invited Sly into a VC um, to talk about, um, well, to talk about the whole incident. And um, the thing was, is that this so this was a private call. Um, this was a private call where it was me, Montrose, you, Patch, um, I believe it, uh, it was Hellboy and Lowe. So all, all these people were in this, uh, this VC. And the thing was, is that we had, we had told Sly that we had had screenshots. And we had. Um, I had screenshots from the person who report from both people who had reported him, um, specifically from the, uh, the first minor mix who had was the one who originally lodged this complaint was like fucking terrified she was absolutely terrified of him and she like she was like i don't know what to do i'm i'm scared i don't know what's going on and um so when he came into the vc we were very cordial we were fairly nice all things considered and um we never like we'd had we had screenshots we had tons of evidence against him and so we just kept telling Sly like we had because we did we had evidence and um eventually he just kind of told us like nobody forced him he could have left the call at any time it's not like he was on a server where we locked him out of channels or anything so yeah, all, all we did was tell him if you tell us the truth we can talk to the other admins and maybe we can we can clear all this up if we know the truth right right and um and it was can, funny it was fun, sorry was going to get sorry, back into the server was the thing yes and uh the reason why was because if it was a misunderstanding of course i would have spoken to the server at the time and those things could have been cleared up but the problem was is that's not at all there was no misunderstanding it was a 15 year old girl who had lodged a complaint against him for making a you know, sexually explicit comments um, under the guise of what it, what the fuck did he call it? Like metaphors or some shit? Like, yeah, he said it like, was sexual <laughs> euphemisms and characters. Oh, because, because that makes so much of the, it just makes all the difference, Patch. It just totally oh, it's makes euphemisms. all the difference. I didn't explicitly say I was going to fuck her. Like, no, dude, that doesn't change of course anything. Not. No, absolutely the fuck not. And um, so he 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 confessed. Like 
there's like there we can't make somebody stay in a vc i can't force somebody i didn't hold a gun to his head i hadn't done anything to him at that time um and it's funny because he blamed me for the for burning down his surfer but it wasn't even me i didn't do anything <laughs> i posted pennywise gifts his staff is the one who burned his server to the ground i didn't do anything yeah it's like so that was fun. take any personal responsibility for anything he's done no, but that's because that's that's because nobody ever holds him accountable. And the one time he he's supposed to be held accountable, or the the couple times he's admitted to it, and he's tried to hold himself accountable. He 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 reneges on it every single time, and I don't understand why. Like you know, you fucked up. Just like it's fine. Everybody fucks up, and and the way that you make up for that is by doing the right thing and admitting, like shit, fam, I got a problem. I'm gonna go see a therapist about this. And that's not like he doesn't live in one of the largest counties in the area. So it's not like he can't find somebody to help him. Lord knows he's not going to foot the bill. So it just seems strange that he didn't bother to find a therapist. It's because oh, he no, knows I'm sorry. He... that he can get away with this if he tries hard enough. But we're not going to let him. Oh, and there was the therapy thing, too. Let's talk about how he talked about, what was it, St. Joseph's, which is a children's cancer hospital. Oh yeah. yeah, gonna go to therapy at St. Joseph's. All right, boy, howdy, that was fun. Like, and he lives in my county, so I know the area. I can fucking, I can fucking look into his claims rather easily and prove that he's a liar. He's just yeah. like, no, no, it's telling the truth. It's telling the truth, dumbass. I have your Wait. ID. I know where you live. I have your dad's oh, phone number. Oh, let's talk. Let's talk about the let's talk about the ID thing. So according to according to U.S. federal law, um, there's a there's a, a a myriad of things that do not count as doxing, and that information is anything that you can find in public records. Um, it also covers like classified citizens, like police officers, uh, judges and witnesses, um, jurors uh, in a court of law, things like so things like that, um, things like your name and your address are all public information you can look that up very easily and it doesn't count as doxing if you take a picture of your own id and you give it to people not to mention so social media and that wasn't that was even the worst thing he posted the worst thing he posted was a copy of social security number that was a whole thing and i i saw that was like nah nah dude i ain't touching this I ain't touching anybody's fucking social security number, so I don't need that to make a police I, report. So I never asked no. for it. But yeah, no, it happened. It happened to get shown to me. Actually, it was posted in where is it? It was posted. I think it was posted in a private group or something. I don't know. Um, but I told everybody not to touch that, and we all agreed we weren't with it. Um, somebody else had had that copy, but um, uh, but the second audio. The one, the second video that she posted, um, we told him we were going to record the audio that was that was that was going to. Well, we we asked him to come into the server, and that we were going to record him. So he knew he was going to be recorded. He still was not locked out of any channel. He was not. He was not forced into confessing anything. And there were what twenty two users in that BC County him. Yeah, and like, I remember I had your permission to record, I had Leo's permission to record, and Loki's. Yeah, so, and Hellboy's, and everybody else that was in there, you had everybody's permission. And he knew he was being recorded, because we told him. We told him before that he was going to get recorded. And he said, all right. And then that's when the whole, like, you know, he ended up confessing to that, to the whole thing. And, like, oh, that was just a mess. Second- too. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't even. It wasn't like it was a week later. It was literally like a couple days later. It was the day and... after my video went out. Literally the oh, day that's right, after that's my right. video went out. That's right. I remember that. Um. So he knew. It's not like anybody lied to him. Anybody told him anything. And we had. Um, we'd had permission, by the way, from our server owner to be in there to do that call. So it's not like the staff was surprised. In fact, I'm pretty sure some of the staff were even there. So like this whole like, oh, her, like they're harassing me. No, it, 
no one from my staff has ever called him. No, actually, that's not true. Well, we never called him, but we called the police on him because he was threatening to kill himself following that audio. So we had a, we had the police do a welfare check. So we did do that, but He's that's still it. But my staff to kill is... himself, by the way. Yeah, but that's what he. That's literally what he does. Like I, I don't know if that's something he learned as a child and just been enabled. That's a learned behavior, though. You know, threatening to kill yourself because it's because you, because you've done something egregious or because you're being harassed, quote unquote. I mean, if if it was really harassment, then why isn't he changing his phone number? If why it's really isn't harassment, the, the police. Why isn't he filing a police report? Why have I you know if, if the charges if I'm harassing him? Why is it that that the same six, seven, or eight people who have been following him for the past seven years? How come none of them? have been have have been arrested none of those people who have mountains and mountains and mountains of evidence the pictures or the the copies of his google drive account his internet search history none of them not a single one of them have been arrested not a single one of them have had have spoken to the police before so i mean it must not be harassment it must be attention seeking behaviors if you ask me i honestly think that he just wants to scare us into shutting up I'm not going to shut up, though. In the state of California, um, when you're an educator, you are trained to be what's called a mandatory reporter. And what that means is if you suspect, not that you have proof, you have to suspect that there is child abuse of any kind. Doesn't matter whether it's physical, sexual, emotional, doesn't matter. If you suspect that there is child abuse going on, and and that includes flirting with unraised children you are required by law to report it so i'm gonna report it i'm an educator by law i am required to do that so why what what makes sly any, any more different he lives 45 minutes away from me so it's, it's not like <laughs> it's not like him sitting here being like oh well you know this is people people are being mean to me no i'm i'm, I'm following the law i'm we have a well, legal obligation, not just as like activists or educators, but as adults to protect as kids. people. Yeah, it's not only that, our but duty it's... as adults to make sure that the world is safe for kids, and that includes yeah. taking out fucking predators like him. And since the police don't seem to want to step in, like exposing him but publicly no. is the only way we can make yeah. sure that people know he's dangerous. And what's worse is that it's not like this is, it's not like it was the first time, the second time, or been the third time. I've been approached by his own underage staff to talk to. I always get approached by these people. I never go seeking these people. They find me. Yeah. Like, and they tell me. Underage kids moderating a server. That's my mm -hmm. question. I don't know. Why does, why does he have a 15 year old who's currently trying to, trying to groom, groom children for him so that he, so that they're easier for him? I don't know. I can't explain this behavior. This is really not my area of expertise. But he currently has a 15-year-old girl um, who's working for him who thinks he's the sun and the moon and the stars, and she's trying to find people in his Discord. The same Discord that is supposed to be on, on, on the Wikia, by the way, for Hasman Hotel, which also can but that's not, that's nothing to do with me, so. Yeah, I... He's trying really hard to make everything he's done seem okay. I I don't know if it's a mental illness or a mental disorder. I don't know if it's the lack of social skills, but the fact of the matter is, is in my opinion, this man is dangerous to children. I don't know whether it's intentional or accidental, but he's horribly racist. He is so fucking racist. He's racist, he's transphobic, he's misogynistic. Like he like like everything that that his server should stand for, he is 100% against and has openly talked about sending, you know, sending immigrants back where they came from and and you know, um hailing against women's rights. Like and even if you don't even if you disagree with that politically, I feel like you should be against somebody who who actively goes out and role plays as Dora the Explorer on kick. And it's not like we don't have screenshots of that either. Like, so, we have evidence or, that this guy 
got banned from the fandom wiki for Dora the Explorer because of all mm-hmm. of the porn he was making. Oh yeah, the fan fictions, the terrible MS Paint edits, like, you know, he ter- he scares people, he terrifies children, like his own stuff, he terrified them. So you're telling me that's a normal thing? Like, that's not, that's not normal. No matter how you spin it, it's not normal. You, it, the whole thing confuses me. A whole damn thing. And like, even bigotry aside, even if he was the most like left-leaning, libertarian, fucking socialist on the planet, we'd still go after him because he's a kid. Oh, absolutely. Like, your political alliance doesn't, does not make a difference to me. If you're going to go after kids and then you're going to lie about it or you're, or, or you're going to have your parents cover it up for you, no. Like, I, I literally don't want you anywhere near me. I don't want you near my users. I don't want you anywhere in, in a fandom that I'm a part of, or any fandom for that matter, because you should, you should isolate yourself until you go get help. And I don't understand how anybody can work under him. And it's funny because even his, his staff, his current staff have contacted me about his behavior because they're concerned about his current behavior in his own fan quarters, in his own Discord. They are, they are angry. They're upset. And they they want to disappear. So. It doesn't surprise me that they've begun to grow concerned because every other server that he's lied to is... From what I heard from one of the miners that were in the server that came to me, he talks about skull fucking has been hotel characters in the oh, like, yeah. general group chat, like the general voice chat. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, that's this isn't just like flirting with miners, it's it's straight up indecent exposure. And like violation of obscenity law, distribution of erotic materials to minors. He's straight up violating tons of criminal regulations and it's Which is just, funny that's... because his own his own Discord even has a no NSF or had a no NSF policy. So not he's not only is he not keeping it with Discord policy, he's not keeping it with his own policy. But this this doesn't surprise me. It never did. Never really surprises me either every time he comes back because like you remember when he came back on Twitter, right? Oh god, yeah. And immediately was like, You guys are harassing me. I mean, yes, I totally did it, but like you guys are harassing me. And oh yeah. I said to get his fans to mass flag my Twitter and get it taken down. What fans? What fans? He's got six subscribers on YouTube. He doesn't like he like like the guy is fucking delusional. Like, like I'm pretty sure that he must suffer from some sort of delusional cognitive disorder. Or something. So he's suffering from something. That, that's my point. Because so he sat there. He compared me to Kim Jong Un and the server to North Korea. I sat and oh, and he was the American hero. And I sat there like, what are what is this? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, Kim Jong Un. That's actually that I think I think of all the nicknames he's called me. I don't, I don't want to blame mental illness for his actions, but that guy's no, 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 no. He's not a safe person, and if he no, is he's not really ill, he probably is actively choosing not to get treatment. He also seems to have this really the female genitals. Um, I don't know what it is because in the in the two time in the last two times that I ever spoke to Sly, he specifically fixated on clarisses, which was really weird. I like that the the conversation had nothing to do with it, not a single thing. And he was like focusing on female genitals. And I know that he's drawn Dora with like like small, small, super small penises before. So I don't know I I I honestly don't know what that's about, but that's pretty fucking weird, regardless of how you look. And the hypersexualization of a literal toddler. That's yeah. It's really concerning. So it is, and this the, he lives in this world where he's convinced that like everybody's out to get him. When we literally told him 
we want you to get therapy. We want you to get help. We told him in the VC, I think it was what, an hour longer we sat well, there. You we want told him to get help. I want him to wow. to death in a cell. Well, I want him to get court mandated help, court mandated therapy. That's no choice therapy. So, yes, I really we, do we are on the same He needs mental help, but personally, I want to see him punished for what he did to. There's been a total of four different girls that have come forward. Oh my! Like That's since surprising. I released my first my first video, two more have come forward. Aside from the two that we interviewed in the beginning, one of yeah. which is uh from his current server that I talked oh. about. I got the oh the, I, the I got screenshots, the screenshots from Hellboy, aka Pepsi Man. <laughs> That, that's the that's the name he went by when I did the live stream on Sly Fox for that. Ah, uh, how funny! I didn't even realize that. I could, uh, you know, I think I remember that now. Uh, but yeah, no, he's 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 either delusional or he's been enabled to live in this fantasy world where what he's doing is not correct. And what's worse is that his uh, his co owner, um, and they know who they are. I don't I don't even need to say their. Um, his co-owner is equally as delusional because this, his co-owner, despite the, despite all the proof that's been given to them, has such has this bizarre hate boner for for the fan court so much so that they're willing to defend him. And I I'm really confused by that because I think that if I found out any of my friends were speaking inappropriately to kids, I think I, I I'm I would turn them in myself. Like it wouldn't even be a hesitation. I'm like all right, fam, we're gonna. We're gonna pack your bags and we're gonna call the police. Cause I wouldn't fucking, I wouldn't tolerate that Just shit. Grab him by the ear and drag him to the police station. Yes. And I'm, I'm so confused as to why that's not happening. If you're friends with somebody and you care about them that much, why is it? Why is it that the mountains of evidence are not enough? Why is it? Oh, that happened years ago, and this was in, this is in correlation to his, uh, his fan fiction. Oh, that happened years ago. I mean, does that make a difference to you? Because he's still role playing Dora. Like, does that make does it make a difference that he's hitting on fifteen year old girls? Because that's he's happening late, now. Thirteen year old girls. Too. Yeah, he's older than me. He's older than me. He's so he knows what me. he's doing. So he knows what he's doing. Um, I don't necessarily know if he he's like, I don't know, dude. The whole thing is just so atrocious. Like. Like the man makes me sick, and any anyone I've ever spoken to about him in real life, like they're ready, like they're honestly ready to go get him. Like nobody wants to deal with him with someone like this. Nobody thinks that this behavior is cute or uh, quaint or quirky. It's all disgusting. I think the everyone total can agree. Of people who are willing to testify that this man is a predator in like a court of law is up to fifteen now, including us. Because it's like the four victims, uh, the volunteers, the admins, you, me, and Leo. Oh my lord. That's too many. That's too many. That's too fucking many. Like, and this, the, this whole harassment campaign is surely non existent on my end, by the way. Um, like he hasn't gone gathering after you. He's specifically going after me because I'm the one making the video. Oh, did you? Uh, were 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 you around when he uh, he wanted me to kill myself? Were you around for that? Um. Yeah, I think I was. I wasn't in the group chat, but oh. we were still talking like on a regular basis about this. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. So he wanted to um blackmail me. And he wanted to, he wanted, not only did he want to send trolls to come after me to the point that I wanted to kill myself, but at the time I was pregnant and he told me to kill myself. So. Holy shit, dude. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. He told me to kill myself. Oh my God. As a pregnant woman. Mm-hmm. So that was fun. Unfortunately, I can't pull those screenshots up uh, because I don't have them anymore. Um, because that account was uh, that account was banned from Discord. Oh yeah, he's also guilty of ban evasion, which is great. Yeah, um, you would think that you would learn after the first time. Not fam. 
Let's keep keep going for those swings. I'm hoping that someone might come forward with a recording a recording of that skull fucking conversation. I really need a recording of that because if I'm going to get his new Discord removed and get him IP banned permanently, then mm -hmm. I I need that conversation because I need more proof that he's still sexually harassing kids. There, I'm sure if you were to talk to um. I'm sure if you were to talk to literally anybody in his Discord, specifically his moderating staff, um, I'm sure one of them or two of them can corroborate the VC. I, I don't know. I, I've, I've literally, I never stepped foot in the server with him. I know that there are people who are from who are from his server who came over to the fan court because they thought that his Discord was fucking disgusting. Um, because he has this bizarre, unhealthy obsession with trying to get the fan court taken down, which is weird because it's not like we've tried to take his Discord down because we literally just don't care enough. Um, but people have come to the fan court saying, like, like they've like filed not filed complaints, but they've told us like, Moz just this guy's fucking nuts. Moz just this guy's crazy. I don't know what his staff are doing. I don't know what his co-owner is doing. But they have this weird obsession, and it's funny because. Um, a couple days ago, when we were dealing with um, when we were dealing with uh, that person that he had he had tagged in his announcements, I actually ended up sitting down with that person and we cleared everything up as far as um, the whole bullying quote unquote situation went. So now that person doesn't even like him. So holy shit, that's funny. Yeah. So now that person thinks he's he's a fucking creep, or at least that's what they said. So they have the great assault. So, like, it's not that hard for us to. I could. I think I still have that link you gave me to the archive of all the posts he made on the fandom wiki for Dora. Mm -hmm. Like they they kept an archive of all of his shit. Yeah, it's all on. It's it's all on the what is it? Wayback Machine. I believe yeah. it's all on Wayback Machine. I'm sure if you Google Mojo Raka, then you'll you'll. Be able so that to that find was everything. His old username, right? Yeah, that was his old username. Um, he's, I mean, he's had a ton. He's had a ton of usernames. That's the one that I know for his fan fiction. There's also that imaginary uh, Twitter racing team that he had, where he also he also had underage characters in that too, and he would role play as those underage characters doing sexually explicit things. I think it was a little more tame because it was Twitter. But, um, but yeah, he had numerous accounts where he was just role-playing these underage characters in these sort of situations. And, like, normally uh, that would just be creepy and not a sign of anything. But if you, pr if you look at the fact that he's also actively preyed on young girls, it becomes too mm -hmm. intense to ignore. And young boys. And young boys. It's not just girls. It's boys, too. It's, really? It's... it's it, yeah, it's young boys. Um, I believe it. I believe it was. I believe who met Sly when he was underage, and there was a whole incident there. And um, like he was underage at the time, and oh I believe that's God. how he. He never. I. Me. I don't know. If, I don't know for for certain. I'm pretty sure. I'd have to. I'd have to get that clarified. But the, I'm pretty sure that's how he got involved with this whole Sly nonsense. Uh, so I wouldn't I wouldn't use that in the video personally just because I I don't have full clarity, but yeah, I believe I'll, there was a whole incident with that. I'll censor that section with his name. Okay. Uh yeah. But knowing that there are allegations against him like preying on young boys to that yeah. that's preying real concern. Young boys. It's really weird because it's it's like he has this really weird dichotomy of um like he's you know, he's a proud man. And he's, you know, he's a proud white man, but he wants, like, he is so staunchly, like, right wing, but he wants to fuck children who are not white or young boys when he himself is a man. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, none of this, like, it's, it's, it's almost as if everything that primarily goes against his, his political ideology is like for him like that's like that's the thing he wants to have control over so i don't know i don't know he just Shit is weird 
he is very predatory. He's very he's very manipulative as well, I've noticed. It's not that he's manipulative, he just finds gullible people. He finds really gullible or people who need somebody. That's what that's chiefly what it seems to be. People who need somebody or people who are gullible. Um, once you take those two factors away, like anyone any anyone with a with a brain tends to come to the staff, primarily me or Hellboy, and say, like, hey, so sly. And we'll sit there in a call with them every single time and we'll tell them exactly what's happened. Everything that we've found, everything that we've seen, everything that we've been a part of, how he's had the FBI actually called on him, how he's had the police called on, on him multiple times, you know. So. But. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming on call so that we could yeah, no this settled because I want to make sure that we address the accusation that we tricked him. Of course. Because, like, this is a serious matter and that's a serious allegation. And even though... Of course. Even though Sly Fox is a whimpering fool, like a genuine mm -hmm. dunce, I have never seen a man with such a lack of brain cells in my life. Like, I'm pretty yeah. sure he and was lobotomized at birth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my lord! He's... But with that being said, though, yeah. With, with that, with that being said, though, I know for a fact we have told people to stay the fuck away from him because we don't, we don't want that interaction. I don't want to give him that attention. I have told my staff, or I, I've told everybody who's come to me, just don't interact with him. Don't talk to him. I like I've passed just... out his ID uh, on Discord and his server, and all I'm doing is recommending people report and block. Just report and block. Because this guy's yeah. a genuine creep. Creep. Yeah. And at I this agree. point, I think he could be considered a serial abuser. Yeah. Uh, specifically online. But yeah. But I mean, how long is it going to take before it goes from being uh, it goes from being online to being in person? I don't think that... I think that it's already happened, probably. I mean, his parents are it very would not surprise actively me. delusional about his behavior they are very actively rejecting the idea and i think it's because they know exactly what is going on and they've probably caught him doing this in real life oh, i'm that's sure it's a theory that's complete speculation i legally cannot say whether or not he's done this in real life but personally i feel like he probably either already has or is planning to in the future it would not surprise me it absolutely would not surprise me as much as I hate to say it, because I don't want that to be the I don't want that to be the case. I don't want it to have to be an actual child. Um, not that there's a difference between online and real life, but I would hate for a child to actually be molested or sexually harassed. Um, as much as he claims he would never hurt a child, I don't know if in his delusional world he wouldn't count that as harassment or what whatever the fuck but there's a term for like the stuff sly fox does it's called pro contact grooming he believes Ooh, i've never heard that he believes that children are capable of consent and therefore um, it's okay for someone like him to approach them sexually that's where his mind is at is that oh if they can consent that means that me hitting on this fucking 14 year old boy this 15 year old girl in a call is completely okay because they can consent and if they can consent they can also say no like that's, um, that's, that's, that's what people like definitely that's definitely not how any of that works yeah but that's how, um, that's how these <laughs> think like, i deal with yeah but those people yep, yep. all the time but they're those people are delusional. Like people like Sly are fucking delusional. I don't like they really, really are. I think it's just they believe what they want to believe in order to get away with what they do. Yeah, that could be the case. I just I don't want a child. I don't want a child to be hurt. I don't. I don't want another child to be hurt by him. So. I I think it's too late with all the reports we keep getting from his server from people about the things oh. he's done. I keep trying to encourage, like, the kids that are coming to me to get out of there, get out of there. Not all of them listen. 
I, I think that I think that they're just scared. Like a lot of those kids, like they're actual kids. They're 13, 14 years old and they don't want to get in trouble. The and one they're I've scared. Heard of is 13 and they're really scared right now and they don't know what to do and I'm I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how can I convince these kids to walk away. Because it's not their job to report every single case of predation. Their job is to take care of no. themselves, to go to school, to get Their job is to there. be a kid, yeah. You're a child. Yeah. You're, it's not your job to be busting these pedophiles. It's really no. not. The fact that these kids no. feel obligated because they're afraid that adults won't do anything, that's, that's yeah. what scares me the most. That these kids think that adults Easy. don't care. Yeah. I agree. So, um, thanks for coming on and talking about this. Of course. Um, no problem. I'll put time of death on the recording right.